Welcome back to TFT Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LCD panel roadmap plans for one of the main panel manufacturers in the market, AU Optronics. We've published these roadmap updates over the year on our main site and it gives a really interesting indication of what we might expect to see released in the monitor market in the future. A sneak peek as it were at the panel manufacturers and what they're developing in the advancements that they're making. Please keep in mind though that we're talking here about AU Optronics who are one of the leading panel manufacturers but they're not an actual monitor manufacturer. They make the panels which display manufacturers then adopt and release in their monitors later on. So the production dates that we'll talk about in this video are the current expected panel mass production dates but there is usually around a three to four month lag from when the panels go into the production before a monitor is released to market. So keep that in mind if there's something here that grabs your attention and something that you're after. Also, these dates aren't set in stone, especially those that are a bit further out, but these are the latest dates that we have for these planned new panels. We've also got videos available now which look at other panel manufacturers, including LG Display's WOLED panels, Samsung's QD OLED panels, so do check those out in the description below if you want all the latest panel development news. We have other LCD panel updates coming from other manufacturers in the near future too, so do hit subscribe to stay up to date on those soon. AU Optronics produce IPS type panels under their AHVA technology, but these are often marketed by monitor manufacturers as rapid IPS or fast IPS. They also still make some VA and TN film technology panels, but a lot of their development attention is on IPS technology nowadays. Their focus is on a few interesting areas though, including increased contrast ratios for IPS panels, a new coating type called ART, higher refresh rates, new mini LED backlight panels, and also some super high resolution panel options. Let's look at their higher contrast ratio IPS panels first. So like LG Display, AUO are developing their own version of IPS black technology, although it doesn't appear to have a name of its own, which makes it a little bit confusing to talk about at the moment. Let's just call it AUO black for now. We brought you news last year in our previous update about various panels planned based on this technology with an improved contrast ratio up to 2000 to one. These panels also have a wide color gamut covering 98% of the DCI-P3 reference space and they'll initially be available in sizes of 27 inch and 34 inch. There's a 27 inch size panel with 2560 by 1440 resolution and a 120 hertz refresh rate that is actually already in production as of late 2023, although we haven't seen any screens adopt it yet. It seems to be more aimed at those kind of general uses and productivity focused screens than any kind of gaming screen. There's also a 27 inch panel with a higher 4K resolution using the AUO Black technology although this panel is 60 hertz only for now. That's scheduled for mass production in February 2024. A 120 hertz refresh rate version is also planned for H2 2024 sometime, which would be an interesting combination. A 34 inch ultra wide panel is also planned with a 3440 by 1440 resolution and a 21 by nine aspect ratio. This one will have 120 hertz refresh rate and should be in panel mass production recently as of December 2023. But again, as far as we can tell, there's no monitors announced yet using it. AU Optronics are also promoting their ART coating technology, which apparently combines anti-reflection and anti-glare treatments. And it's designed to change the direction of reflected light and therefore reduce scattered light to a level that is apparently barely noticeable. Basically, it will help to reduce glare and reflections on matte coated panels, even in very bright environments. AUO's surface design also eliminates ambient light disturbances apparently and helps preserve the true color tones, saturation and ambient contrast. This technology was originally designed for panels that might be used in art displays and galleries, also linked to that name ART, allowing artists to be able to reproduce texture, brush strokes and original colors of the artworks and paintings in an authentic digital format. It's now being integrated in some of their monitor panels, largely aimed at the general office, productivity and professional type uses, as opposed to gaming panels. Although there are also a few mid-tier refresh rates still, and so it could be an interesting option for those wanting a screen for both work and play. With this new coating, display brightness can be reduced by about 20% AU Optronics say, compared with a traditional panel, which helps you to save energy by up to 60%. In the small panel segment, there's a 23.8 inch size panel with a 1080p resolution and this new ART coating. That's already in mass production now as of late 2023. 
It's a 100Hz refresh rate panel with a standard sRGB color gamut. In the same 23.8 inch size, there's also a new panel with a higher 1440p resolution and the new coating, but this time with a lower 75Hz refresh rate only. That should also be in mass production now as of November 2023. In a larger 27 inch size, there's a 1080p resolution ART panel with a 100Hz refresh rate and standard sRGB color gamut already in production since 2023, as well as a new higher refresh rate version with 1080p and 180Hz that should have recently gone into production too in Q4 last year. Still in that 27 inch size, there's also a few high resolution 1440p panels with a 2560x1440 resolution and with that new ART coating. Those should also be in production, including options with 75Hz, 100Hz and 180Hz refresh rates. We've actually seen one monitor announced to date featuring this 180Hz version of the panel with the Cooler Master GM2711S, which we should have actually in with us soon for review, so we can check out how this coating performs and establish its benefits for different use cases. With an even higher resolution of 4K, there's a 27 inch panel in production already with this coating and a 60 Hz refresh rate with a 160 Hz refresh rate version tentatively planned for 2024, although the date is still to be confirmed. In the larger 32 inch size panels, there are a couple of 4K resolution options now available, one with a 60 Hz refresh rate and the other with a 160 Hz refresh rate, and both are in production already. These both offer a wide color gamut as well. Most interesting in this space we think are some new ultra high resolution panels featuring the new ART coating. These are aimed at professional and productivity use cases, offering a high pixel density for super sharp and clear images. There's a 31.5 inch size panel with a high 6K resolution of 6016 by 3884. This would be 60 Hz only given the resolution, but it would offer a 98% DCI-P3 color gamma and that new ART coating. It's only in the planning stage at the moment, penciled in for Q2 2024, but that is probably likely to slip. There's also a slightly larger 32 inch size panel with an even higher resolution. This would have an 8K resolution of 7680 by 3420 for a super high pixel density. It's also got a wide color gamut again, covering 99% of the DCI-P3 and Adobe RGB color spaces. And that's currently in planning as well, penciled in for Q2 2024 at the moment. AU Optronics have also got a decent range of high refresh rate IPS panels planned for gaming monitors in a range of different sizes. They've always done a good job of pushing refresh rates higher while being able to make sure that their IPS panel response times can keep up with that increased frame rate often being ahead, in fact, of other IPS panel manufacturers like LG Display when it comes to the latest and greatest refresh rates. They already have a 32-inch sized IPS panel with 1440p resolution, a standard sRGB color gamma, and 240Hz refresh rate in panel mass production, but they've got plans to increase this up to 300Hz later this year, although a firm timeline has not yet been given. They also have a 32 inch sized IPS panel with a high 4K resolution of 3840 by 2160. That's planned and will have a wide color gamut covering 95% of the DCI-P3 color space and a 240Hz refresh rate. That combination of 4K and 240Hz is something we've already started to see announced in the OLED monitor market and it's likely to be a popular option in this LCD market too. This panel is scheduled for mass production in Q1 2024. Of note in the smaller panel size segment is a new 25 inch size panel offering a 1080p resolution, a 400Hz refresh rate and standard sRGB color gamma. That's planned for Q2 2024 production. They've also got a 27 inch size version planned with a higher 2560x1440 resolution and 400Hz refresh rate. This time with a wide color gamut covering 95% DCI-P3 and that one is also planned for Q2 2024 production. AUO's panel development focus seems to be largely on their IPS technology panels, but they are still investing in some new VA technology panels. There's a 31.5 inch size panel with a 4K resolution and 240Hz refresh rate that will again offer that nice combination of 4K and 240Hz, but this time with a higher contrast ratio VA panel for those who prefer that technology. This is planned for production in 2024 sometime, but the date is not firm at the moment. 
They've also got plans to develop a curved 34-inch ultra-wide VA panel with a 3440 by 1440 resolution and 240Hz refresh rate during 2024, although again the timescales for that one are not firm. In larger size still is a 49-inch curved super ultra-wide VA panel with a 5120 by 1440 resolution and 240Hz refresh rate. This has a firmer date with mass production planned for Q1 2024. Let's not forget about TN film technology as well. This is an aging technology nowadays and rarely used since there's been significant improvements in IPS and VA panels over the years. But it's still featured on some high-end esports and competitive gaming screens, like for instance the ASUS ROG Swift PG248QP that we reviewed recently. That's a 24-inch size screen with a 1080p resolution but with a whopping 540Hz refresh rate. AU Optronics have plans to push this refresh rate even higher this year with a 600Hz refresh rate version of this panel planned. It would still be 24 inches in size with a 1080p resolution and a wide colour gamut covering 95% DCI-P3. That's planned for Q2 2024 production at the moment. That's actually the only TN film panel of note that they seem to have planned at the moment, still being reserved seemingly for those smaller size screens popular with competitive gamers and esports players. It's worth just touching on a few of the super high resolution panels AU Optronics have planned as well and in development. These are mostly aimed at professional users and high end screens from that segment, but they're offering 6K or even 8K resolutions beyond the now fairly common 4K space. We've already mentioned the 31.5 inch panel with 6K resolution and the new ART coating, although as we said that's only in planning for a possible Q2 2024 production. More firm and going into production during Q1 2024 is another version without that new coating, but again with a 6K resolution and a wide colour gamut covering 98% DCI-P3. Likewise in the slightly larger 32 inch segment there's that ART coated panel with 8K resolution that we talked about earlier. Again that's in planning for possible Q2 2024 production, but like with the 31.5 inch panels, there's also a version without the ART coating that is going into panel mass production during Q1, and that looks equally interesting. This version has a wide colour gamut covering 99% of Adobe RGB and DCI-P3, but has also a very high-end mini-LED backlight with 4,608 local dimming zones. It's a 60Hz panel still given that 8K resolution, but it could be very interesting for HDR content creation, professional and studio work and that kind of thing. While we're on the subject of mini LED backlights, we have some updates on some of AU Optronics' so-called AM LED backlights. That stands for Adaptive Mini LED, and these AM LED backlights are all about offering higher number of dimming zones and also being made available with high refresh rates so that they're suitable for gaming displays. They have various IPS panels which are already in mass production, including a 32-inch 4K resolution IPS panel with a 160Hz refresh rate and 576 local dimming zones. We've seen that used actually in a few monitors already, including the Acer Predator X32FP that we reviewed. There's also another 32-inch 4K IPS panel with a slightly lower 144Hz refresh rate, but double the number of zimming zones at 1152. That's been used as well in some monitors already, like the ASUS ROG Swift PG32UQX, for instance. There's another 32-inch 4K IPS panel which has a 60Hz only refresh rate, but has a 4K resolution and even more local dimming zones with 2,304 in total. We already mentioned a few minutes ago another 32-inch IPS panel which has a super high 8K resolution of 7680 by 3420 and while it will be only 60Hz refresh rate, it will have 4608 local dimming zones from its AM LED backlight, which is very impressive. That's scheduled for Q1 mass production right now. So those are the four AM LED backlights that we know are in panel mass production now or planned for production this year. There were a couple of others of note in our update in March 2023, which for now seem to have been scrapped or changed. At the time, there was a 31.5 inch 6K panel planned with a 6016 by 3384 resolution and 60 Hz refresh rate. That was originally listed as featuring a 576 zone mini LED backlight, but that seems to have been dropped according to our latest update. 
the panel still seems to be planned, and we talked about it earlier as one of the ART coated screens with a high pixel density, but it looks like they decided to develop this without the mini LED backlight now. As a reminder, that panel without the mini LED backlight is penciled in for possible Q2 2024 mass production, but it's only in that planning phase at the moment. Another one that is unfortunately conspicuous by its absence is the previously planned 27 inch IPS panel with a 1440p resolution and 360 hertz refresh rate that we were expecting to have 576 local dimming zones from their mini LED backlight. These were only in the planning phase last year in our update, but they seem to have been dropped off the roadmap altogether for now, although maybe they'll reappear in the future. But for now, they do appear to have been scrapped, unfortunately. So there you go. There's loads of interesting panel development news in there and hopefully some new panels to look forward to that might meet your needs in the future. Let us know in the comments section below which panels you're most interested in and if you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a quick like below as well. We've got loads more monitor and panel news coming up soon, so do hit subscribe to make sure you stay up to date. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.